In life, wisdom separates those who make it from those who don't. Wisdom teaches you when to act, when to react, when to retreat, and when to surrender. Without wisdom, you will be going through all the emotions in life, and most of the things you do will not work out for you. Welcome to the Virtual Woman Show with Ajay Kumwa. Please do also subscribe if you haven't done so already, and let's get into the discussion. says that wisdom is a principal thing and we have to get it the bible says in james that if you lack wisdom you should go to god and ask for it see as you go through life there are times you have to lay back there are times that you have to stand up there are times you have to act and there are times that you don't have to act at all and knowing when to do what is what makes you a success or what makes you a failure Maybe you have a contract that you have to sign. Knowing how to go about it, maybe it's not a good deal and it will bring you down in future, or maybe it's a good deal. All depends on wisdom. There are two men in the Bible who acted out of wisdom that I would like us to look at. The first one is Abigail. Abigail was the wife of Nabal, and the Bible says Nabal was a foolish man. There was a time David wanted to kill Nabal because Nabal refused to help David. And Abigail went to David and cooled him down, gave him what he wanted. When Abigail came back, the husband was drunk. And the Bible says that she didn't say anything to him. So he was sober the next morning before Abigail went to him and told him what had transpired. Think about it. Your husband has messed up because of him. You've lost so much. And when you came back, he's drunk. How many women will calmly talk to their husband the next day when he is sober? That is wisdom. Most of us will raise hell that evening and make sure the alcohol or the intoxication gets out of his mind. And make sure he's talking to you, listening to you, screaming and all. But the Bible says that she waited till the next day when he was sober. Look at the timing. She looked at the time she can get to the man most before she went to him with her concerns. That is wisdom. Knowing when to act. Knowing when to pause knowing when to react. The second person I'd like us to look at is Esther. Esther was a queen and her husband had a friend called Haman who wanted to kill Esther's people. And Esther's uncle, Mordecai, came to tell her that this is a plan against your people, so do something about it. And the Bible states that no one could go to the king unless the king had called for the person. What did Esther do? Most of us would have just rushed to the king and told him that, hey, you see your friend, see the type of people you keep around you. He wants to kill my people and raise a fight or confront the king to talk to the man. But what did Esther do? She applied wisdom. She cooked for the husband. After the husband had eaten, and he was full and happy with himself and told Esther that what do you want me to do? Even if you want half of my kingdom, I'm going to give it to you. That is where Esther came out to talk. At that time, the king's heart is prepared. He's ready to do anything Esther asks for. It's not like Esther is going to nag him or push him to push his friends away. No. She waited for the right time before she made her point and the king 
made sure Haman was killed instead of the Jews. So timing. Are you the kind of person who says, as for me, I tell my mind, if you do, I'll just give it to you. As for me, I'm like this. If you do this, I'll do that. Timing and precision. As a hunter goes into the forest, he takes his time, gauge, make sure he is precise before he shoots. That is the wisdom that we are supposed to have. Precision and timing. Know when to talk. Know when to keep quiet. You go to places for the first time and you just speak out, open up to everyone, and they use it against you. Most of us have committed that blunder. So you learn that you have to observe people, get to know their mind before you open up to them. So wisdom is a differential. And if you want wisdom, pray to God that God, I need to be wise. I don't have wisdom in this part of my life. I need wisdom in this aspect of my life. And he says he gives it free without taking it back. So it's time, especially we women, get to learn how to be wise and how to make wisdom work for us in all aspects of our lives. I'll be back same time next week with another episode. Please don't forget to like this video share your views in the comment section and subscribe to this channel